Hello viewers, this lecture is about monitoring and control systems. Monitoring and control systems start from sensors and ends over the actuator. Uh, in the most simple form, if you have a cell phone and you tilt it, your screen uh, necessarily gets changed because of the sensor which is sensing the motion and uh, it is also making the cell phone to change its screen. So sensors are input devices which read or measure physical uh, properties such as temperature, uh, pressure, acidity and so on. Real data uh, is analog in nature. This means that it is constantly changing and does not uh, have a discrete value. Analog data usually requires some form of interpretation. Uh, for example, uh, an analog clock requires the user to look at the hands on the clock face. The areas swapped out by the hands allow the number of hours and minutes to be interpreted. Uh, interpreted. They, uh, there are many more other examples as well. Computer cannot uh, 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 make any sense of these uh, physical quantities and the data needs to be converted into the digital form. This is usually achieved by an analog to digital converter. This device converts physical values into the discrete values. When a computer is used to control devices such as a motor or a valve, uh, it is often necessary to use digital to analog converter. Since these devices need analog data to operate in many cases, frequently uh, an actuator uh, is used in these uh, control applications. Although these are integral part of the control system, an actuator is an electromechanical device such as a relay uh, or motor. Note that uh, there is an ex other example, solenoid, uh, which is an example of the digital actuator as part of the device uh, is connected to a computer which opens and closes circuits as required. When energized, uh, the solenoid may operate a plunger or armature to control, for example, a fuel injection system. Other actuators such as motors and valves may require a DAC so that they receive an electric current rather than a simple digital signal direct from the computer. Uh, we need to notice the importance of uh, positive feedback which is uh, where the output from the system can affect the next input. This uh, is due to the fact that uh, sensors readings may cause uh, the microprocessor to alter a valve or a motor. For example, uh, which will then change the next reading taken by the sensor. So the output uh, from the microprocessor will impact on the next input received as it attempts to bring the system within the desirable parameters. So from sensors to the microprocessor, it is said to be monitoring part and from microprocessor to the actuator, it is said to be the control part. So whatever the values which are being received from sensors to microprocessor are also being logged in. And if the data which is coming in is uh, within the range of the preset values, uh, it is said to be nominal and the monitoring continues. If the data goes uh, beyond the nominal values, then the microprocessor takes action with the help of actuator. If the system uh, is both monitoring and control, then in case data is outside the range, the microprocessor sends signal to control actuators. So to comprehend uh, sensors send signals out to microprocessor or computer, the signals are converted to digital if necessary using an ADC, analog to digital converter. The microprocessor or computer analyzes the data received by checking it against the stored values or the preset values. Uh, if new data is outside the acceptable range, a warning message is sent to the screen or an alarm uh, is activated. The microprocessor or computer has no effect 
on what is being monitored it is simply watching the process this is monitoring uh, for the feedback loop if the new data is outside the acceptable range the microprocessor or computer sends signal to control the valves um, to control the valves motors and so on if uh, the output from the system affects the next uh, set of uh, uh, inputs from the sensor so let's discuss about a few of the examples of monitoring and control examples of monitoring are uh, monitoring a patient in a hospital for vital signs such as heart rate temperature and so on uh, another example for monitoring could be checking for intruders in a burglar alarm system. Another example of monitoring could be checking the temperature levels in a car engine or monitoring pollution level in the air. Uh, on the other hand, uh, other examples of control systems are turning street lights on at night and turning them off again during the daylight. Con or the second thing could be controlling the temperature in a central heating or air conditioning system. Thirdly, it could be um, the example of control systems controlling the traffic lights at a road junction or operating anti-lock brakes on a car when necessary. Controlling the environment uh, in the greenhouse could be another example of control systems. Uh, so one of the most common uses of sensors in modern times uh, is in the monitoring of con uh, and monitoring and control of uh, number of functions in motor vehicles and aeroplanes. Uh, let's uh, discuss about ABS in cars, which is anti-lock braking systems. Uh, ABS on cars use magnetic uh, field sensors to stop the uh, wheels locking up on the car if the brakes uh, have been applied too sharply. When one of the car wheels rotates too slowly, it is locking up. A magnetic uh, uh, field sensor sends data to the microprocessor. The microprocessor checks the rotation speed of the other three wheels. If they are different, means they are rotating faster, the microprocessor sends a signal to the braking system and the braking system uh, uh, applies pressure to affect uh, affected wheel and then it is reduced. The wheel's rotation speed is then increased to match the uh, other wheels. Uh, the checking of the rotational speed using these magnetic field sensor is done several times a second and uh, the braking uh, the pressure to all the wheels can be constantly changing to prevent any of the wheels locking up under heavy braking. Uh, this is felt as a judder on the brake, uh, brake uh, pedal. Uh, we, if we apply emergency brakes, we uh, hear this sound, duck, 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 uh, as the braking system is constantly uh, switched off and on to equalize the rotational speed of all four wheels. If one of the wheels is rotating too quickly, braking uh, pressure is increased to that wheel until it, is, it matches the other three. That was just one example of the anti-braking system. Uh, in monitoring and control. So that's about it. Thank you.